Welcome, guys. This is Edwin. I hope everybody had a great holiday and let's get back to it. You know, I have a bunch of videos I want to make and, you know, let's take it easy. Let's keep going like we're doing. And today I have a very special piece, a piece that I learned something new, you know, something I was not aware. Of. And that's one of the things that I really enjoy about this hobby. And this piece was from Area 51 as well. And this is a original 1998 Specwar A blade hand ground, okay? And one thing that I was not aware, and obviously now when I look at it, it's pretty obvious, but guys, this blade on this guy is a hand ground blade. And also you can see how all the work, you know, the the jimping and the jimping on the, on the lock bar and all that, how all that was hand finished by Ernest Emerson himself. It's really, really cool. Let me show you the description that came with this. Again, like I mentioned, one of the things I've been doing, if I can, is to print out the description or information that I can get on the internet from the model that I have, if it's something special like this piece right here. Again, this guy came from Area 51. Let me read you real quick and we'll go through the details on this knife. An old school 1998 Specwar A model. Now, this is from Ernie himself, right? Here is a real keeper. This is one, this is an original 1998 Specwar knife that goes all the way back to the beginning of the Eki company. Eki meaning Emerson Knives Incorporated, right? It features a hand ground by me, that's Ernie, satin bead blasted blade, old school thick G10 and water jet cut liners. This was before we bought our first laser. Don't miss out on this one. These knives are highly sought after, and since Emerson knives are known for being used, right, a brand new 22-year-old hand-ground version basically does not even exist except for one like this. 22-year-old model, guys. This is just amazing. I love, you know, I love all these snip sets and stories and, and little information about each of these knives, and again, very special piece right here, 22 years old. Some of you guys probably are younger than the age of this knife. So let's go through it. And right away, let me compare this with a 2001 Specwar A, okay? And like he mentioned right there, you know, you will notice that this guy was all hand finished and hand ground by Emerson. Let's look at that bead blasted blade. You can see this is a clip point style or drop point, sorry, style of blade, right? And you can see that beautiful finish, the stamp of Emerson Knife 98, that handmade, right? Handmade serrations in the blade right there. This guy is a V grind, meaning that is ground on this side and then ground on the other side as well, okay? And then you have that, the classic, right? The classic chisel edge, from Emerson that I love, okay? One thing I really, really enjoy about these old schools, right, is this old school G10. I have mentioned that in the past, and also that all the hardware, right, are flat screws, guys. I love that. The simplicity of Phillips screws or flat screws is something that I really wish I will find in every knife and something that I still enjoy with your normal production uh, Emerson's and Customs, you know, they still use the classic basic stuff you can find in your house. Like he mentioned, thicker G10s, and that G10 is hand contoured, you know, it's thicker, so he makes sure that this is all hand contoured. That G10 is all, you know, contour everywhere. Really, really cool, okay? One thing to notice, you will notice how that jimping was hand filed right there, and then he went ahead and he smoothed the finish on that, right? In this case, these are laser cut liners, and you can see like that one is more like you are used to, right? But in this case, water jet liners and all hand file for those jimping. Same thing in the log. Let me show you right here in the log. You can see how that log jimping was 
handmade right there. Very, very cool to see. And of course, water jet finish on the left, so the laser cut on the right, so notice that, okay? Very, very cool. Again, both are excellent models, right? But this guy right here, I will tell you, now with the information, one of the things that I was not aware until I look at it, is that this is hand finished, hand ground by Ernest Emerson himself, guys. This is like a custom to me, okay? Be aware of that. Of that. Very, very cool. If you own a 1998 spec word knife, guys, you have a hand ground blade right there. Bit blasters in my case, but I seen satin finish as well and stuff like that. And of course, this guy is brand new, like it's been mentioned in the description of it. I love that hardware going through the middle. I mentioned already the spec work model, you know, uh, just, you know the, the ergonomics through the roof feels great in the hand. And one thing also that I will mention that is very interesting, and you see that in some of the 1998 models is that thumb disc right there. Normally, right, you're used to a thumb disc like this. Well, back in the day in 1998, the story goes that Ernie uh, bought by mistake oversized thumb disc. And, you know, you cannot start throwing out stuff that don't, you know, you need to try to figure out if you can make it work, right? And he went ahead and he cut them like that and make them fit. And it gives you this style of thumb disc. And if you see some of the 1998 models, especially on the Spec Wars, you will notice that thumb disc and that's the story behind that. Very, very cool. Perfect centering. I don't know if I showed the lockup, you know, great lockup right there. Feels great in the hand, of course. It's a spec work. And that hand contouring across the board is beautiful. Beautiful work, man. You know, I'm very, very excited to be able to have this in my collection. Now I have a 2001, you know, and a 1998 original spec work model type A blade, okay? Very, very cool. Again, guys, if you have any other question, feel free to jump in on caloblaze.com. I do have all the links for the main groups that I'm usually hanging out. Instagram, of course, YouTube comments, a Facebook Echo group, Facebook of Emerson operators, and of course, USN forums that were always there having a blast and sharing this type of historical pieces or, or just whatever you have Emerson related, right? So very, very cool. If you have any other Thing, feel free to comment and contact me through those channels. You guys have a great, great day out there. Bye.